For this video, I'm using Carlson 2024 with IntelliCAD. And I'm recording this because I wanted to show you how to use a default field code definition for handling an unrecognized point description when you process your points through Carlson Field to Finish. So here in my setup, I have a drawing, it's empty, uh, just created called mydrawing.dwg. And you can see at the top, I am associated with a CRD file called my point file. And we'll just quickly list those points. And you can see we've got our traverse and corners at the top and then a lot of location and topo. For the most part, our descriptions seem to be pretty standard, um, but the two I want to look at here are points on our traverse where we've tied back in uh, to points that we've shot before. So point description five equals one, where we're foresighting uh, back to point one, our original point one, and then uh, the description six equals two. So these are not standard descriptions. And what I'm getting ready to show you how to how to use this default default field code will handle anything that's just not standard. So it just may be uh, some kind of a feature that you just don't come across very often, um, and it'll all apply. So we're going to draw everything into the drawing, um, and then we're going to go kind of look at how Carlson would typically. Um, just basically on installation, how it handles uh, unrecognized point descriptions. Okay, so we're going to go to survey. We will draw a field to finish with my field code table, my field codes dot FLD, and we'll just draw them. So if you zoom in and take a look, um, it seems like things, you know, got processed the way they should or the way I would expect. I see some different symbols uh, that seem correct. I see ground shots. I see 2D line work, 3D line work over here. Uh, but let's look at this little cluster of points here. So we will move out. And we can see point one and point five. So there is our five equals one description that we talked about. Uh, so for the hub, you know, that point description found its way to a specific layer telling me what, uh, what its purpose is. But when we have five equals one, it just went to zero. Um, so I may not recognize it's there. It may be a feature that was located that's important that I need to pay attention to. And right now it just it just kind of doesn't. Um, you know, this one is out here by itself. Six equals two is up here. So it's really kind of hidden from me. So what can we do to draw our get points like this to draw our attention? So let's go in to draw field to finish. For whatever reason, it's not remembering my field code table for me today. Let's edit codes. This is actually just a very simple little fix. So we'll sort, and you can see there's not a default uh, field code defined. So we're going to add. And the name of the code is exactly default. So uh, for this code named default, Carlson knows to just process any description point with any description that doesn't fit on another field code. The other thing you want to do is because by nature of what we're doing, the description is going to be random. For this setting uh, in our field code definition to use the raw description, we want to change that. Uh, if that's set to off, then in the drawing, whatever description is provided here will be shown in the drawing instead of the raw description from the point. Um, so by the nature of this, we don't know, we don't have any full description to provide. So in the drawing, when this point's drawn, we just want to see the raw description. Now, this is kind of something that I like to do is just 
have a very obviously named layer called Fix Me. I'll set the color. I'm going to pick magenta, but I would usually just suggest you pick a color that's going to stand out to you that maybe you don't use for any other purpose. Uh, you know, it's just not, not a color that uh, you would typically use. And then, okay, we will save this field code and exit. And let's just redraw everything. All right, so now we look back down here and select it. You can see it did go on layer fix me. So one other suggestion possibly is if bringing in points and drawing with field to finish is one of your first steps, then one thing you may want to do is to go ahead and create fix me or whatever your layer is. Create that layer in your drawing template in your DWT file and set it current. And that way it's always there to kind of get your attention and uh, let you go figure out and find out if there's any points that you need to sort out and fix. So hopefully you found this video helpful and it saves you picks and clicks. Thanks for watching.